Hello friends, I am Dr. Bipin Batra, Executive Director, National Board of Examinations and uh, I will uh, talk about the introduction of National Eligibility come Entrance Test. Insofar as the NEET PG is concerned, friends, uh, the scope of the exam shall include all the MDMS seats in the country except for uh, those institutions which are not covered by the Indian Medical Council Act, namely the All India Institute of Medical Sciences, New Delhi, the PGI MER Chandigarh, the Shri Chitra Trinal Institute at uh, Trivandrum, the Jipmer Pondicherry and Nimhans Bangalore. Rest all of the institutions, whether they are in the they are owned by the state governments, whether they are autonomous, whether they are affiliated to deemed universities or constituent colleges of the state universities, they will all fall under the purview of the NEET PG examinations. Now, besides these group of institutions, the DNB programs which are administered by the National Board of Examinations uh, shall also be uh, the admission to the DNB program shall also be made through the NEET PG. The admission, the application forms for NEET PG are online and uh, they shall be available every year in the month of September and October while the test dates as per the calendar of examinations which has been examinations as well as admissions which has been duly approved by the Honorable Supreme Court of India and notified by the Medical Council of India by way of uh, appropriate regulations. The exam shall be conducted in the first fortnight of December and uh, the results for the NEET PG shall be announced in the first fortnight of January every year. The admission process shall begin thereon. Now uh, friends, the syllabus and curriculum for the NEET PG examination, the NEET uh, uh, PG for entry to the MDMS postgraduate diploma as well as the DNB programs is drawn from the graduate medical education regulation which in turn regulates the uh, MBBS programs in the country. The standard of question papers is that which an average MBBS student can address uh, while there is appropriate weightage given to the subject which is drawn from the weightage a subject carries in the MBBS curriculum. So it is a cross sectional representation of all the subjects which are taught in the MBBS program and uh, there are questions which are designed to uh, draw the ability level of candidates so that uh, we are able to rank the candidates on an all India level. Similarly for the NEET MDS, the curriculum for the test is uh, that prescribed by the Dental Council of India for the BDS graduate program and uh, all the subjects which are taught in the BDS program uh, shall be reflected for the NEET MDS examination. So friends, as far as the preparation for the examinations is concerned, uh, if you have uh, seen the website uh, of uh, nbe.edu.in and referred to the course curriculum, the course curriculum is very vast. In fact, uh, at times uh, it looks scary because the whole of MBBS has to be read. So the consistency of learning is important. Uh, there is a distinctive difference between reading and learning. If you are able to learn, understand, and uh, develop the correct algorithms of integration of basic sciences with clinical sciences, the um, apt uh, knowledge of basic sciences, as far as the key concepts in medicine. So in fact, I would say that uh, the preparation starts from the day a candidate joins in the MBBS program. If you have been consistent in learning the subject of the first year, learning the subject of the second year, learning the subjects in the third and final year of MBBS and then giving, uh, utilizing your internship for revising the entire course curriculum. Another important concept as far as uh, the preparation for the NEET PG examinations is concerned is every subject has a due weightage given over there. So uh, the anatomy there is a prescribed weightage, for physiology there is a prescribed weightage, there is a prescribed weightage for preventive and social medicine, there is a prescribed weightage for obstetrics and gynecology and every subject commands a weightage. Now there are some subjects which may deem more important and more relevant than there are those subjects which may deem less relevant or less important. Friends, I would like to reiterate here that every subject is important because a weightage has been allocated to every subject. Even a small subject like dermatology, radio diagnosis, anesthesia has been given its due weightage. So cover all the subjects, maintain consistency of learning right from the day one of your program, uh, try to cover the complete curriculum. Prepare your own notes, prepare and mark your own learning points and at the end of the day do practice because time management is very very important. For an examination of this magnitude where uh, it is only 60 seconds or even lesser which you will get to attempt at a question, you need to be in the right 
frame of mind that you are able to understand the stem of the question because uh, the questions which are asked are multiple choice single correct response type questions so there is an mcq which is uh, there is a stem of the question there are four responses out of those four responses there is only one correct response and friends there is no negative marking so uh, that really should stimulate your mind and uh, uh, activate the analytical algorithms so as to rule out which is the incorrect choice which is the other incorrect choice and finally between the last two choices which is the most appropriate and the most correct response practice makes a man perfect so do practice your subject area then uh, there is a very important and powerful tool of think pair and share when you are working uh, in singular or working in isolation you are working and competing with your own so try to identify a partner a friend with whom you can pair you can compete the two of uh, the buddies can sit together identify that uh, these are the areas which uh, one person will cover these are the areas which the second buddy will cover try to catch up in at least uh, once in 2 3 days and see how both of you have progressed uh try to identify each other's uh, uh, areas of deficiency or compete between yourself and think pair share is a very very powerful tool and will definitely help you improve your performance in the examinations and uh, as far as the practice of mcqs is concerned mastering the art is concerned uh do refer to the textbooks and those uh, books which have mcqs drawn from the text only there are many kind of resources which will uh, be uh, very fanciful and try to seek your attention that uh, this contains the replication of previous years questions papers and so on friends uh, publication of previous years question papers is not permitted as per the neat pg scheme of examination so what you can refer to is those mcqs which are actually drawn from the textbooks and uh, the textbooks are the core source of knowledge as well as learning never fall for cheap thrills or uh, r- such material which is only uh, creating gimmick and trying to create an illusion in the minds of candidates at the end of the day it's the textbooks which form the core of knowledge it's the textbooks from where the mcqs are drawn it's the textbooks which the your faculty has taught you has referred to and it's the textbooks which even the examiners refer to while framing the mcqs many of the times the knowledge which is asked as far as the uh, mcq papers are concerned uh, is direct knowledge which is uh, maybe uh, rote memory but uh, a large fraction of the questions which are there will be applied knowledge they'll involve uh, clinical interpretation they will involve analytical application they will involve application of basic sciences to the uh, clinical domain and so on the fraction of uh, such questions is increasing by the day and uh, hopefully in the days to come the question paper will comprise uh, 50 to 60% of analytical knowledge and apt application of uh, clinical skills and uh, higher domains so friends let me address one very important issue of uh, the publication of result for the neat pg as well as the neat mds examinations uh, friends as far as the publication of result is concerned one all india list merit list of all the applicants who have appeared in the examination is published on the website of nbe uh, which is www.nbe.edu.in subsequently uh, the single largest vertical for admission which is the all india quota for the md ms and pg diploma seats uh, merit list for the merit come rank list for the all india quota is published this list is published as per the criteria prescribed by the medical counseling committee which is uh, the merit list is equal to 5 times the number of seat vacancies which are available with them then for the uh, states every state has a different criteria sometimes the many of the states opt for a criteria and allow candidates who are graduating from universities in that state as eligible for entry to post graduation in that stage whereas some states have a domicile criteria which is whether a candidate has passed their class 10 plus 2 or their parents or the candidates have been staying in the state which is their home state 
So uh, there is a lot of variability as far as the state criteria is concerned. So publication of the state merit list is left to the state concerned. We at National Board of Examinations furnish the master database of all the aspirants with their uh, key details, key uh, parameters which they have filled up in the application form to all the states with their performance and the states then publish their own merit list based on the criteria so adopted by them. Now lastly for some of the centrally administered programs such as centrally administered institutions such as the armed forces medical institutions, armed forces run one of the uh, largest uh, postgraduate programs in the country at their medical colleges as well as command hospitals. So the armed forces medical institutions also draw their uh, admissions uh, from the NEET PG list and uh, aspirants are specifically asked if they are interested to pursue post-graduation at the armed forces medical institutions and those who have opted for the armed forces medical institutions, the list is forwarded to them appropriately. The merit list for the candidates who have appeared in the entire window of testing is declared as a single merit list, a common merit list which is available at the NB website and uh, this is the first list which is to be declared. The other list as is the All India Quota 50%. The Armed Forces list is uh, released by the Armed Forces Medical Institutions, the Directorate General of Armed Forces Medical Sciences, whereas uh, all the states uh, per, uh, publish their own list. Now the last category which is the private medical colleges or those institutions which are functioning as part of deemed universities or uh, private universities, uh, they publish their own list based on the criteria for admissions which they have adopted or based on the criteria which has been, uh, which is the mandate of the university given to them by the University Grants Commission. Uh, for the year 2017, it is expected that uh, the total number of postgraduate seats on offer shall be uh, around 35,000. Friends, this is an all-time high uh, number of uh, seats. In fact, the government of India has undertaken a series of reforms aimed at increasing the supply of uh, MDMS postgraduate diploma seats in the country. Uh, a large number of these seats, the increase in the seats is contributed by expansion in the postgraduate seats in the government medical colleges which have adequate number of uh, full-time faculty as well as uh, adequate clinical workload. The DNB program has also witnessed uh, a tremendous support as well as increase as far as its programs are concerned. The, uh, the number of postgraduate programs on offering uh, from the National Board of Examinations is continuously growing and so is the number of seats. It is expected that for the year 2017, the National Board of Examinations shall offer uh, approximately 6,800 seats across broad specialities, across post-diploma post program as well as the super speciality programs. We expect the total number of participants uh, who shall be appearing in the NEET in the range of uh, 1,15,000 and uh, this number shall be continuously increasing year after year as the number of uh, medical graduates who have been entering into the system is also increasing. For the year uh, 2017, it is expected that the total number of, asp the total number of MBBS seats in the country shall be upwards of 61,000. That is more than 61,000. MBA seats shall be available in the country. Now friends coming to the second most important NEET examination which is NEET MDS. Now uh, NEET MDS is being conducted uh, for the very first time. The precursor, precursor to this examination was the All India Postgraduate Dental Entrance Test which was conducted by the All India Institute of Medical Sciences till year 2016. The NEET MDS shall be the single gateway or single examination for entry to all the MDS courses in nine disciplines across the country. While the number of uh, dental graduates uh, enrolling and passing out is, all, uh, is already increasing year after year, it is surprising that uh, uh, many dental graduates are not uh, aspiring to pursue post-graduation. The number of uh, aspirants for the NEET MDS programs uh, or the All India Postgraduate post Dental Examination earlier varies in the range of 14 to 16,000. So accordingly, we expect the NEET MDS to attract uh, the attention or participation of at least 20,000 dental graduates in the country. The exam shall be conducted as a computer-based test all across the country at uh, around 75 plus test centers 
in major state capitals and uh, major cities of India. We received multiple queries regarding the issue of uh, what is the fee structure for the postgraduate programs. Friends, as far as the uh, regulation of fees concerned, let us see the institutions in three categories. Our first category is the government medical colleges. Uh, the government medical colleges in our country usually follow uh, a subsidy model, whereas there is no uh, cost-based fee which is determined for the programs. So the fee in these uh, institutions is very, very low compared to the cost of program administration. And uh, the fee accordingly in the government medical colleges is found to be very, very uh, acceptable and affordable by the candidates at large. Uh, for the armed forces medical institutions, it is the similar case. However, the armed forces medical institutions come with a rider of service obligation because as part of the constitutional mandate given to the armed forces medical services, candidates are under obligation to serve the armed forces or the uniformed forces in the country. And many of their seats are even protected for those who have served in the uh, service commission of the armed forces as medical graduates, medical officers. So after having uh, serviced the armed forces medical institutions for a predefined number of years, they are given priority as far as the pursuance of post-graduation is concerned. Now lastly, the issue of uh, those private medical colleges which are functioning as part of the deemed universities or affiliated to state universities, but their ownership is uh, in the uh, say private trust or private societies and uh, they have their own uh, model of uh, balancing the income and expenditure and these are the institutions which uh, traditionally follow a cost base uh, fee model and uh, we receive a lot of queries pertaining to that the fee in these institutions is high. I think uh, what is uh, needed is uh, a clear recognition of the fact that these institutions are uh, uh, working without any subsidy from the government or uh, any other uh, body or organization. However, at the same time, these institutions should fix the fee in a manner that uh, the difference between the fee charged and the actual cost is not very, very high. So friends, typically the topper at the national level uh, is one. And uh, many of the times the difference between the first topper, second topper, third topper is so small uh, there will be a difference, there will always be a difference of even a fraction of a mark and uh, the best of uh, the lot will be placed at the higher rank. But uh, ultimately the uh, top few candidates can really uh, guide others that what different that they did uh, that they have been able to reach the topmost percentile. So at the national level, at the state level or even at the institution level, the determination and identification of uh, such uh, meritorious candidates is possible. Uh, however, at uh, National Board of Examinations, we have not done this exercise, whereas we understand that uh, various institutions and uh, various medical colleges and groups of candidates at their own level have identified the toppers who have excelled in the examinations. I wish all the aspirants uh, our best wishes for a very successful participation.